Hello, welcome to Mental Health and Me. I wanted to talk about anxiety and how sometimes it does it does win, you know. It does sort of uh, put a stop to our plans or something. Now, this isn't me being defeated, this is me being real. I've been in that position where anxiety's took over and I've had to cancel going on holiday. I've got to the airport and had to turn back and things like that. But what I've always took from it is that I've pushed it and pushed it and pushed it until the very brink where I physically can't go anymore. I don't give give in to it at its first sort of uh, nibble. I push it as much as I can. That's what you have to do. You have to push that anxiety level higher and higher and higher and it feels horrible and it feels worse and the symptoms grow. But you have to do that. Because otherwise, that first nibble will happen sooner instead of later. And when 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 things do happen that you you know you can't do what you wanted to do because of the anxiety, you've only ever really sort of got a negative to take from it if you haven't tried your best to, to, to fight back and you haven't sort of learned a few things to to help push it further next time because sometimes you'll be anxious about something to the point where you can't do it the next time it comes around you just do it and that sounds weird but it's like I don't know, you, you, the anxiety isn't always attached to the event. It's what's going on in you, really, as well. You know, are you tired? Have you got other worries going on at the moment? Because you can think, well, every time I go to this shop, I feel anxious. But actually, you know, it was when I went to that shop, I hadn't had any sleep. So my anxiety level was already up. And you've just got to keep pushing it, pushing it. And as I say, anxiety does win sometimes. But it may win the battle, but we'll win the war, as we say. You know, we'll keep going. You keep pushing it. It's physically impossible. If you've got an anxiety disorder, it's physically impossible to always, always, always be on top of it. Because otherwise you wouldn't have that disorder. But you have to keep doing your best. Don't don't let the first sign of it defeat you. Just keep going. Because every time as you're pushing it up and push pushing that anxiety level up, you're building up a resistance to it and for future uh spikes. So you just gotta keep trying and keep doing it. You know. Um it's not nice, I know it is not nice, but for the for your benefit you know you have to just drive through it so thank you for watching and i hope you can take something from this you know i'm just being real really with it i'm not pretending that it doesn't happen and sometimes it's not too much because it is um but as long as you keep doing your utmost you'll crack it and you really will so keep going thank you for watching and take care